That was awesome. Now, who here loves movies? We got. We give you our movie critic. Let's give it up for Rocco Passafume. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, Hallie. Um, the movie I am doing this week is um, a movie that's been doing extremely well at the box office the last month or so. It's none other than Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. It's directed by Christopher McQuarrie, and it stars Tom Cruise, Jeremy Renner, Sa Simon Pegg, Ving Rhames, and Alec Baldwin. With the Impossible Missions Force now disbanded and Ethan Hunt now on his own, he must round up his team of agents to combat a terrorist group with um, world domination ambitions known as the Syndicate, while allying with um, a rogue agent from uh, England who may or may not be in league with this, um, this Syndicate. The thing about you know, Mission Impossible is that he's managed to turn what was originally a very pop, um, well known television show into an entity unto itself, which very few of these TV film adaptations managed to do. And a lot of it is due to Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. You know, for everything that's gone on with his um, career in the last couple of years because of his associations with Scientology, he has really managed to still, you know, he really still manages to deliver as an actor and manages to make really exciting, thrilling movies that are not insulting to one's intelligence. Yes, the uh, Mission Impossible movies, there have been five of them now, and more or less, they're, they're, there's not too much that's too different from them, except in the superficial areas of, you know, new directors and new styles of, you know, telling the, the formula. But the thing that they make this particular one so special is that he always finds a way to make, you know, each installment of Mission Impossible more exciting than the last, you know, whether it's, you know, doing his own stunts and whether it's his fantastic cast and whether just, you know, you, you get the real sense that you really get your bang for your buck and you have a film that, you know, a great action movie with great locations and great characters that really doesn't, just really doesn't make you feel like, like, like it's like an also ran kind of thing. Like, 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 you know, the thing with action movies is that you get the feeling like you've seen a lot of them before. A lot of them follow the same beats for the most part. It's really difficult to make a film franchise stay fresh. And Tom Cruise has pretty much done the impossible and, and managed to do this so effectively with this. And, you know, the proof is in the pudding. The movie's still, you know, the second most, is still doing fantastically. It's, um, I think it's now like the, still the third most popular movie out right now, and it's been out for over a month, and it's a huge worldwide. And you know, every you know time one of these movies come out, you're thinking like, ah, Mission Impossible. You know, like how many more of these can they make? And he's really shown that this, you know, still manages to be as competently directed and wonderfully acted, and um, just the best kind of summer movie thrills that. You, you could possibly get, and, and, and that's, that's, that's very hard to do, and I definitely give uh, Mr. Cruz a lot of credit for that, and uh, I give Mission Impossible Rogue Nation three out of five stars, so thank you very much. Rocco, thank you very much.